Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And the topic for this week is how to use um, special characters in your text. Uh, because you know that we have, you know, lots of things that we don't have keys on our keyboard for. And the question is, how do you um, use them in a text, Trevor? And so let's go ahead and pop over onto my workspace and let me show you how. Because uh, it's actually very easy. Notice that I have like the A and the E here on my screen. Um, but if I was to, for example, um, start a new text, you know that when I click on the T for text and I start typing, I'm just going to get the words my text, right? That's how it starts. And so really it's about getting the special symbol here in place of the words my text. And so, um, you know, it's easy when there's keys on the keyboard to update it. But how do you get to the special A and the special E, Trevor? And that's the question. So um, the answer is that you need to copy and paste to put them in there because we don't have keys. And so if you have them in a Word document, you could copy and paste them into here. Um, if you can find them on the internet, you could probably copy and paste them into here. One of the easiest ways to find them for copying and paste them is to use your Windows character map. And Windows has a character map. It's a you know utility that comes with Windows. You can just use your Windows start menu or click in your search bar and type in the word character. And all I had to do is type in CHA and it was already coming up. And I can just click on that and see the little box that opens up here. And in this box, there'll be all of the special characters that are available. And I know that you can change the fonts in here and use different ones, but you really essentially don't need to. Um, if you want to find the you know special A, for example, or this cool AE one, Latin capital letter AE, just click and it kind of highlights it and then click select. And you can you know create a whole series of you know symbols or letters. Um, click on this little lowercase e and say select, click on that n, say select. And so when you've got everything that you want to use, you simply click copy. And now it's ready to use in Floriani and I can click up back on my Floriani. And then where it says Trevor, I'll just click to highlight it. And then I'll right click in that space and say paste. There they are, the special characters. And when I click apply, they'll show up on my screen. Now, it will depend on whether the font that you're working includes them. And to find out if the font that you're working on includes these different sort of special characters, you would go to the properties box. And if you hover over, so notice right now that I have selected the font Anna and that if I hover over the image of the font and what it looks like, um, a window pops open and shows me um, all of the characters that are available in that font. It also tells me important information like the recommended sizes, minimum and maximum. Um, so this is not how you can select them, but it does tell you that they're there. And so knowing that they're there because not all fonts and you might choose a font that doesn't include them. You know, and maybe if I try this applet one and click apply, oh, it just, it's like those letters don't exist. And so you kind of end up with an empty, you know, character set. And if you go back to, you know, making it be the letter T and click apply, then it's fine. You know, so how do you know whether the font includes them? And that's another good question that we could talk about. So if you wanted to use um, our font play tool up here on the top menu, font play is a great way to see if the special characters, you know, exist in different fonts. And so notice when I click on uh, a font, like, oh, let's just click on Anna. It's gonna put up the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Of course, you can click on letters and it'll show you the basic alphabet, but it doesn't show you, you know, all of the letters. Uh, but however, I can also do custom. And when I choose custom, I get to type in the letters. And so if I right click and paste in here, now my you know special characters are in that window and it will show me what they're going to look like. And um, I can see what they would look like in Andrew or in anniversary. And um, when I go to the applet, it disappears. So if it disappears, then you can assume those characters don't 
uh, are not included. You know, but if I click on and you just click, keep clicking uh, to find the ones that they are included in. And so some do and some don't have kind of special characters. It looks like this one has the two or lowercase ones, but not the, la the larger case one. And so, yeah, you'll find that just by clicking on different fonts, you can find um, different ones do and don't include these. And so, of course, if you find the one that has the perfect kind of appearance, then you click import and it comes in. So that is how you can access the special symbols. And remember, it's the Windows character map. I still have it open here. Um, this is also how you can get access to symbols. So a lot of fonts. So really, let me explain something. When we're working with our Floriani software, when I select a font or a letter um, segment, and I look to my properties box, it tells me what letter style it is. You know, this is the anniversary. If I click on that T, it's this applet. If I click on this one here, it's amber. But all of those were from our built-in embroidery fonts, you know, and this is the list of built-in embroidery fonts. And the software comes with over 170 fonts and a lot of them have special options. Like when you go under um, the ones that have an O beside it, it means that that font includes outlines like run stitch outlines, for example, could be possible. And so there's a lot of letter styles but we don't have them all. And if you want to access even more letter styles, then you check off this box here for true type fonts. And now you're looking at the fonts that came with Windows. And so, you know, once again, you can use those to auto convert uh, into embroidery. But what's really cool about working with the true type fonts is that there are also fonts that include symbols. And so um, an example of that would be the windings and the webdings, right? So I'm going to go all the way down to the W's and find windings number two. And you'll find in, you know, if you search on the internet that there are a lot of symbol packs. Um, so notice when I brought up windings that those characters now became symbols. And, you know, if you type in my name, Trevor, and click apply, they will be symbols. So then the question is, how do you know to get the check mark? You know, how did you know that that was the letter R? Well, you don't have to know that if you use the Windows characters map. So when you bring up the window character map, then you can also use the selector to change to windings and when so i'll scroll down to uh windings and number two and now i have the whole list and so there's a check box um so let's get rid of these ones just hit delete on my keyboard and then you know pick out a check mark and click select and then maybe click out an x with a well let's just a moon and click select and click copy and then come to your Windows uh, or come to your Floriani program and, um, you know, change the word Trevor and just um, right click and paste it to those symbols and then click apply. And so we should get a check mark and, well, whatever one that was. Anyway, so you can kind of get the idea that, oh, it was supposed to be a moon. Yeah, but the moon didn't show up. So... Um, not exactly sure why, but let's try this one, select and, um, copy and then come into here and, oh, it's like when I, I, I didn't, maybe I didn't right click and paste. Oh, there, this time I have, cause it's got the check mark, the moon and the symbol. Yeah. But the moon comes up with. Sort of nothing. And now you can even see, oh, the check marks the capital P, but the moon apparently doesn't have a, uh, is not somehow working or not represented. But the other little swirly one was. And so those are, that's kind of cool that there's a lot of little um, artworks that are available through Kim symbols that can be used to create embroidery from. And so we hope you enjoyed uh, this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Um, until next week, have a great day and bye for now.